Let's quickly walk through how to claim a stone. Navigate to the part of the app that shows you all the devices you have paired. If you have not paired any devices, you should only see the Add Stone button. To pair a stone, press the Add Stone button. The app is now in claiming mode. This lets the app listen for signals from stones that are not yours. We don't want the app to accidentally stay in claiming mode, so a timer counts down from 10 seconds. Press the button on your stone in this time frame. It could take about two seconds for your app to see the stone, so just press the button once and see what happens. If the app saw your stone signal, it'll display an alert asking for a name. I'll name mine WebDev, because I think our web developer is out to get me, and I want to know when he's around or not. I plan on putting this in his backpack. Hit OK when you are happy with your name. The app now makes a call to our database and makes sure this stone has not been claimed by someone else. If anything went wrong in this network call, the app will let you know via an alert, and you will probably have to start the claiming process over. On a side note, each stone is shipped in button mode. This means that it does not broadcast a continuous signal, just a signal when the button is pressed. To put the stone in tracking mode, hold the button until you see four continuous flashes. You are now in tracking mode and can get range and motion alerts. To unclaim a stone, just touch the stone you want to delete for three seconds, and it will ask you if you want to delete it. If you press yes, we have to make a few network calls to update the database. If any of these network calls fail, your stone will not be deleted and you'll have to try again. Thanks for watching.